Hi, it's Heidi. Welcome to my channel. This is what I end up with today. And I'll tell you, uh, oh yeah, yeah, thank you so much to Amanda Trout from the UK who uh, had this on the channel because this is where I got the idea from this. I will uh, link her video because it is absolutely amazing and I absolutely adore it. It looks totally different to mine. I've done it different. The only thing I think I did was a circle that should... <laughs> But everything else is, um, I think it seems bigger than mine. I don't know. Please give me a thumbs up today because I think this is, I hope you think this is amazing too. I am really pleased with this. And anybody who has subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. That is amazing of you to do that for me because that does help my channel to grow. Affect papers on Kofi. I'll put this on Kofi. Yep, everything. That's everything. Yep, thank you so much. So let's go and I'll show you how to do this today. Ooh, blank paper. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yep, blank paper today. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I'll show you what ideas I've got. That's one. Okay, so we make it. I make something like this, but I've got ideas. Wait, I'll tell you why. And then I've got this. Um, also, this idea. Uh, but this isn't finished. So I've not finished that one. I was making it about what. Uh, Last night I was doing all the thing. I thought, well, I may as well put some extras on it. Because my husband says it looks a bit... He liked that one because there's more going on than that one. Which is fair enough. But anyway, anyway, I do adore it. You can see how different they are. That one's got... Um, I What did I use? I don't know where they are now. Um, oh, no, I took them downstairs. I've got... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I've got, I've got right, I punched out shapes using stencils, using using stencils, and and using it like a stencil. Okay, so there's your butterfly one, and you've uh, one of the flower ones, which is this. And I think they look a bit. I don't know. You might like them, but I think they look a bit. Um, land i don't know I, I, I did like the idea i absolutely loved that when i did it so i don't know and but i've got a slightly different idea that i'm going to do today but this is an idea you could do using punches or uh, drawing shapes and cutting them out um, inside i mean if you fold cardboard and then cut cut the shape out it, it doesn't matter you can put it back together it will it will still do your little shape as long as you ain't got your bits sticking up <laughs> when you've folded it. Right, okay, um, things like that. So, um, so that's one idea. Okay, that's the idea, but I'm going to do something more like this, but with less. I'm going to try and get it less in the middle. So we've got more of the black and white um aspect here now what well, right anyway that's the that's the um mini very very mini so it's about two inches i think yeah about two inches by whatever that came up with okay yeah so it's a little tiny little card that could be inked up on the edge there now, i've made these using words so but I've got, I'm obsessed with that at the moment. That's not what you... You could actually cut that up and use it as journaling cards, as it is. But I do want you to have a go because I think it's it's very relaxing and very, very... Really, really easy. Really easy. So, yeah. So if you think you can't do that, you can. If you can hold a pen. I will say this. If you hold a pen, if you can hold a pen and write, you can do this. Okay, I would say that would be absolutely something you could do. I mean, I've seen somebody, um, somebody's drawings who has a tremor, and I'm going, wow, I wish I could do that because she was, it was absolutely amazing. Not mention any names, but. I do hope I cut that out. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so, so let's try and do this. Right, I'm, what I used here, this is bright, quite brightly colours. 
is um, a mix of acrylic, gouache and Liquitex. Uh, I have got an, uh, some actual bottles with it in, but this is the one. I could only find these. <laughs> these. Um, yeah, I don't know if you could use um, watercolour yet, but you could uh, also use um, things like Unicoscas on top. I mean, look at, where is it, this one? If you look at that one, you'll notice that the Unicoscas really, really are opaque because I did that all on top. Okay, so there you do your posters, all this. So they're very, very opaque, and so you can actually draw over the top of certain paints. Uh, I would say more acrylic. We got acrylic. I think acrylic would work better because um, it's more plasticky, and you could probably draw these better on plasticky stuff. Uh, if that makes any sense at all, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> But um, I do hope so. Um, so some people, I'm, I'm there going, what paint are you using? What paint? You know, so I'm hoping that um, this is okay. This is what I use. And I'll show you that I've actually got it here. They give me an example. And I'm only on the craft lunch. Half of it's still down here. <laughs> also got some brushes. Some little brushes I've got. Things like this as well. They're them very, very tiny detailed brushes. The detailed miniature pa brush paint set. Why, whatever that is. Willot. Willot? I don't know if that's Willot or it's that's a letter in it. Yeah, so it's got those tiny little brushes. I'm not, I will be using perhaps one of those. But the, I'm using, um, I don't know where the big one is. <laughs> the big one's vanished. What's that one there? It doesn't matter what you use. You can use probably even that and twist it. Is that one as well? Round brush, that's a Zooting Artist brush. Um, oh, those as well. That's a fairly big one. Another one. Oh, that's a bit. Um, I don't think it needs. That should be watercolour on there. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like, I'm afraid. Yeah. Right, let me just show you the. Um, well, that's so cheap. This is what I've used. This just cheap. Oh, it's not well, that cheap. It's PBA, which is obviously fairly. I think PBA is pretty good, actually. Things like that, and then mixed with, and that is the one, isn't it? Yeah, light blue, yeah. So I would mix um, that blue gouache with this, and then add some um, liquid hex. That's what I've added with that, and, I, and it, it put extra water in it. It's absolutely smooth, and it's really nice. But I won't say there's that much left, and I have got these which are a mix which are probably that mix because it is very similar if i put extra water in this that's a, a, that is very similar to that and that is i think it's quite expensive really um i don't know i, don't, I would say liquitex is towards expensive that's an american thing anyway so we have to import it yes <laughs> yeah. but they are uh, european that's um dutch and pbo get them from the uk yeah <laughs> i don't know what pbo is <laughs> Yes, I can start now. Now, what I did was, um, I might add some more colours to this if they run out. I mean, there isn't, there isn't much in there. Look, and I've mixed all my colours as usual because I just did my paint it, paintbrush it, and um, make it, like, you know. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make, yeah, make it all mixed up, yeah. What I'm going to do is spray the paint paper. I know it makes it all bumpy, but it's fine. It's, you can stretch paper. I've done it before. But somebody said, who was it? CC, CC, she, uh, CC Creations. She's on about, um, this is a few years ago now. Um, stretching paper, she just put some tape on it or something. Rather than stretches it and makes them um, uh, and stretches it onto something non porous, I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, what I want to do that I'm doing this for is because I want to do those black lines, but I want them to bleed a bit. I think, <laughs> I think I do, right? So, black lines, I'm going to do it with this thick paint. So, this is what, um, sorry, I've got the idea from. A lady called Amanda Kraut, Trout, she's from the UK, and um, she was doing, oh, it's amazing what she did. 
So obviously I want to, I'm going to do a similar pattern to what I've already done. So I'm going to do that big round thing in the middle and do some lines over the side and things like that. So it's basically like this. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so I might wipe that out. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm going, to, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back in and um, so just do lines like this. Can we see what we're doing here? I mean, this might not be a good idea. I might redo the video. I don't know yet. I don't like this. Um, oh yeah, and there's that as well. She, I've got, she didn't do it. I don't know how she did it, but she did not do this. But this is my own off the cuff idea. So I'm just going to do some thick black lines. I might thicken the lines as well in places. I don't know why I want to do this. But <laughs> I just did. I just fancied doing it. Just fancied doing it like that. And I want different um, things. Okay. So we're going to let that dry now. Yeah, I'm afraid we are. I'm let that dry. Okay. And um, let's see how we go. Okay, looks like I've already started. There we go. The, I'm using what I've decided to use is three secondary colours. I might put it on the uh, video. This is purple. Yeah, I'm adding black. That's right. I'm adding black to purple to make it sort of neutrally colour or muted, muted or neutral. So these are sort of purple colours. No, it looks quite pink, doesn't it, really? <laughs> but it's actually brown. Purple it's brown. Colour. And now I'm putting orange, but I'm adding black to it. So it looks actually. Um, <laughs> I think I was making a joke about it looking more burnt orange than burnt, than burnt than orange or something, than burnt orange. There you go, there's yeah, there's another one I'm adding black to it. So I'm adding sort of like streaks rather than um you know flat colour. Which I think it looks better underneath what I do. What am I doing now? The green, this is the green, yeah. So green's another secondary colour. By secondary, I'll probably explain that I um with your colour wheel. If you've got six colours on your colour wheel, you've got three primary colours and then you've got your three secondary colours. So from each primary colour you get three secondary colours, um, yellow and blue, obviously yellow is a primary colour and blue is a primary colour, so that makes green. Then you have yellow and red or magenta really, um, well, no, cyan, it's actually cyan rather than blue, which is a light blue. And uh, so you've got magenta and lemon which make orange. And then you have the other two primary colours, which are cyan and magenta, which make purple. So there's your, that's your, that's your secondary colours. Okay. Now the tertiary colours. I think I did it on the vid, on the um, video. Because <laughs> um, I've got the colour wheel video. I think I might have mentioned tertiary colours, but I think I got a bit confused. Because... Um, I did it when I was at college, so yeah. I think I also as I might have been talking about, I wish I'd done fine art rather. I'm doing actually leaves here. So what I'm doing with the leaves is instead of instead of just using ordinary green, I'm adding actually white to it to the green. So I'm using the same green, but I'm using uh, I'm adding white all over. There. So I thought that's quite interesting. I thought that that you know using black as the background and then white as the fore, foreground yes okay it's okay he's whining because he wants some water because he's just been eating a load of biscuits haven't you so if you can hear him lapping because <laughs> I just have to pass in the water because I'm in the bedroom that's why <laughs> I'm not in the craft room Right, so um, here we 
yeah so I'm just doing all the white uh, mixed blues I'm actually, I don't know if I actually show you the white where is the white the white I'm using I think is the opaque uh, copic white which is watercolor it says on the jar and I use originally that was I bought that because I used to do graphic novels yeah right <clears throat> okay and um <laughs> I wanted to be a proper graphic novelist <laughs> but I didn't do it really but anyway I did used to white out some um, little bits of my, my drawings my story I used to love doing that I sometimes think about it now you know what what was my cat I love thinking about my characters yeah so I'm adding look you can see I'm adding um, white to magenta there I might be adding blue, I don't know. I'm adding blue as well. Or is it just... Oh, it looks like I'm just using pink there over the top of that sort of purpley pink colour. So, yes, it's sort of, it's supposed to be purple. Like purple to me, purple is actually, if you um, know anything about colours, purple is more like a, a red, a, a, towards a red. And violet is more towards the blue. And usually, if you, well, I've I, I, I noticed that on crayons anyway. <laughs> so I assume that's what it is. So yeah, I'd say purples. Because um, I had some, um, is it um, Faber Castell crayons? And they, um, I think, bright, was it purple? And then there was, um, and that was like a pinky colour. So purple so violet is more blue right so it is purple so ha <laughs> so if i'd added a bit more blue to that that would have come up more like um, a violety color so yeah i'm not uh, showing it very well oh my i'm just getting it in the corner yes because i'm trying to do it fairly close up because obviously you can say so you can see it and another thing is oh yeah, there's the orange look i'm going to add some um oh what let me add it oh oh what am i doing there Oh, unless I, oh, I might have been just using, oh, that's gouache, gouache, I'm adding gouache. Yeah, so this is actually, what I'm using is gouache um, mixed with um, acrylic and also Liquitex. I might have, had, I might have mentioned it, as I, have I mentioned it at the beginning? I didn't, I didn't actually skip over quite a bit just to get to this bit. So I might have mentioned that. So I'm using, yeah, so that's what I'm using. I mean, there's no reason why I can't have a go with this with other other medias too. Right, you could use orange and then perhaps a pen uh, for the peachy colour. Yeah, I thought this is quite a cute little idea. Okay, I'm just hoping people do remember I'm recording. And don't speak to me because I can hear people, certain people moving about. I did, I did mention it. <laughs> mention I'll be recording, so hopefully it remembers. Because <laughs> I've forgotten how to switch it. I don't know how to switch it off um, to stop it. So <laughs> it's like a continuous thing. Uh, yeah. Right. So this is. Um, yeah. So at the moment, um, what's happening is my daughter's in hospital. Uh, this is the 28th of April and hopefully she's coming over tomorrow but I had to go and look after my grandson tonight so my, my, so her husband could go to uh, his coaching sessions because he coaches uh, soccer if you like if you're American you're, everybody else will understand what soccer is um, so the, the uh, so if I say football, you probably think <laughs> it's like a rugby thing here, isn't it? Football. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what we that's what we're doing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing that. So I might be doing that again because she's not supposed to do anything at all. Um, it depends because she's got a son who is autistic and who doesn't understand, you know, is a non-verbal. So um, I do have to. I mean, I was, I was looking after him on my own tonight and he wanted some toast. He said toast. He said toast. So he can say a few words, but it's, it's classed as non-verbal. And <laughs> I made him some toast and I handed it to him and, he, and I said, oh, 
he's sort of like gonna trying to smack my hand away i says do you want what do you want he says um i said do you want a plate he says want to want it on plate all oh, right so i got him a plate and then he didn't want that he put it straight in the bin if he doesn't like something you know in the in the it puts it straight in the trash thing if you're american you might <laughs> you might not understand bin <laughs> but anyway uh well you might bins bins different into in different things anyway um so what i did was and then i found out later it's because he wanted the crusts cut off <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think his, when they came home, his brother made him some. Um, yeah, because he's got she's got three sons, and one was at work, one was with his dad, and obviously I was looking after the youngest one. Yeah, because he coaches, uh, works at school, he coaches um, sports. Right. Um, uh, what else can I say? Right, okay. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just um, at the moment on the video. I am adding white to all the black lines I've done. So I've done thick black lines, and I think it's really, it's really effective. I'm using using a Uni Posca pen, and um, they are very opaque. So you want a nice opaque pen. Uh, some people swear by these and some people swear by other pens but these you can get these in different um, thicknesses this one I'm using is possibly is either a 1m or it's a 3m um, size which is what the smaller smaller size is but you can get 5m and bigger ones as well I don't know how well they go up to but they um, and I did actually use on another picture that I might be putting up. I could actually put up because I did record it. Um, you know, so it's a, as an extra video or, you know, because I, 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 I don't know how many videos I'll be able to make just in case I have to look after my um, daughter's uh, daughter or the, or the kids because, you know, depends on what, what, what's happening with the family. So um we'll be showing you that one as well. That's more brightly coloured actually. This one I've muted this one on purpose. Um although it does look quite bright, doesn't it? <laughs> In fact, yeah. Okay, so I've got seven minutes left to do this recording. Right, um I'm not sure if I've added the first bit, so it might be a little bit longer. Um I might have might have to reintroduce it, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm deciding I'm not necessarily going all the way along with all the what are we doing there? All the way along with the um designs. Oh yeah, I just go up to there and I think I'll do a different design. I love this design where you just sort of like randomly do those zigzags and you don't get them you try not to get them to be um even because that makes it that makes the design. I really like this one. It's like making I make oval, you can make ovals round circles inside those um sort of um diamond type shapes. I think I've put a little yeah, I put a little thing inside of each one as well. I ain't got the picture here, it's in the other room. <laughs> I think unless it's um downstairs. Yeah, I've got to look after my daughter's um other daughter's uh, dogs tomorrow. She says, Antoinette doesn't want you tomorrow. Can you look after my, while we, the dogs while we go out? So, I've got to do that because they're going to be out from half past five to apparently half past ten at night. So, I'm going to go there about nine or so. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, oh, that's just, it's just all I'm doing. It all I'm doing is, I mean, people say, think they can't do these, but all I'm doing, and that's what CC said as well. She said lines and circles. I've extended it to. I mean, I didn't, <laughs> didn't, didn't know that she said that. I've heard her say it, but I think 
the first person I heard mention it or, or something like it was actually Pam at Paper Outpost. She mentioned something like it um, ages ago and I think she's right. It, it's, I, but I'm not sure if she says the same as me. I say circles, lines, blobs and dots. And that's all it basically, all doodling is, is that. So you can say, well, I'm, I'm, let's see what I'm doing now. Let's see what I'm going to do. I am doing lines. I'm just filling in the lines. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, it's just filling in. Yeah. It's doing lines and filling them in. And I'm probably going to do something between like circles, possibly. So probably three circles. I'm not sure if I am actually. I can't remember what I did. <laughs> but that's what I might do thinking about looking at it now. I was doing this now, I'll probably do three dots or three circles between or two lines or something to, to connect each one, what we're doing now. Some of these things I'm actually adding a bit of white to some of the designs as well, which I think I'm doing that now. I'm adding white to some of the designs. Oh, I'm doing just circles, like, and just scribbly circles going down there because it looks quite nice. So if you've got a brush and you're using it as well white white paint and a brush uh, with opaque paint you need some sort of opaque paint uh, um, sometimes I think you, oh yeah this is quite easy just like as what we did as a child as a snake pattern <laughs> sort of like doing the zigzag with the two dots either side what am I doing I'm doing is it three lines I'm doing all right I'm doing three lines down the um, middle of each one there so it's three something there you go right so there we go how about that um i think i'm gonna say to you thanks so much for watching today uh please give me a thumbs up that would be absolutely amazing and if you um subscribe to my channel thank you so much that would be amazing and anybody who has um already subscribed thank you so much I um, have papers on Kofi. I'm going to put these on Kofi as well. So this is like a little celebration of my two year anniversary. I say I might be just doing a little less videos for six weeks at least. Uh, see how it goes. See how I, I do it. Okay. And um, yeah, so I'm doing little dots and things in between there. I'm just adding little dots where I want to. Okay. Uh, there we go. I don't know whether I can show it any closer up. If you've got a big screen, you'll be able to see it close up. Um, but I've got a little tiny screen. There you go. I have. Yeah, I've done it close up. It's quite fast, I know, but I should have done it a bit slower, shouldn't I? Well, there's the other one I made. Yeah, that's the other one I made. Very similar, but I've done more black lines, actually. On that one, I think I've just used paint, uh, using paint on it, so you'd be able to see that. I might do a voiceover for it, but I don't know when I'm going to put it up. Okay, just talking about this as well now. I'm going both of them, and um, there you go, doing all me stuff. I've already said it, dear, so no need to do it again. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. You can see how what it's like when it's closed up. It's amazing, isn't it? absolutely adore it I love the colours and I love all the I just thought secondary colours that's amazing and with added black and then obviously on the front you've got on the top you've got the um, I'm using white and that is a um, Uni Posca pen it's green just, just, I was going to use it but I think perhaps I just stopped using it after a bit I don't even know what I'm doing. There we go. There you go. Just adding some bits there. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what I'm talking about because it's going on so fast. Yeah. Just adding a few bits. Yeah. That's what sort of things you can do. Anyway, goodbye and thank you so much for watching.